Welcome to Frightfully Forgotten special New Year's episode. <laughs> uh, bridging the gap between season four and season five. Usher in 2021 here and thank God 2020 has been a fucking shit show <laughs> of a year for I think the whole world. Oh man. But even like me, like fuck, my furnace went, my hot water <laughs> tank went, my eaves troughs fell off the fucking house. Like Jesus Christ. <laughs> Glad to see this one gone. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> this year, we decided to do a New Year's special instead of a Christmas special, which we usually do. Yeah. But before we get started, what are we drinking? Fire in the Sky Rye. Today, we're going to be talking about 1980s New Year's Evil. All right. <laughs> this one was directed by Emmett Alston. And, uh, I don't know, he didn't do that much. <laughs> <laughs> stars Roz Kelly. Also in this is Kip Niven, and he's been in lots and lots of stuff. To name just two, he was in Magnum Force with Clint Eastwood <laughs> and Airport 1975. <laughs> Grant Kramer's also in this, and he's still acting today, and he's been in, again, lots of stuff, but one cult classic is Killer Clowns from Outer Space. So the movie starts off, we get introduced to Diane, and she's getting ready to uh, host New Year's Eve, right? She's got a friend, though, that's also getting ready. She ends up getting killed right away. Somebody's waiting in the tub and just grabs her with a knife. And always look in the shower before <laughs> you get in. Yes, and always look in your back seat. Yeah. From here, we see just this car packed full of punk rockers, right? Yeah. These young punk kids listening to the theme of the movie, yeah. uh, New Year's Evil. They're driving to like the venue. Where she's hosting this big where, party. Yeah, yeah, where she's hosting it. While Diane's getting ready, her kind of shitty son came into the apartment and he's sort of trying to get her attention. He's like, Mom, I got a, I got a part on TV. I got a pretty good part. Blows him right yeah, off. Yeah, just basically. right off. She gets a phone call from somebody. He's got this weird voice thing. Hello, yeah. this is evil. <laughs> 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 that voice disguiser thing does nothing. It's like he's changing his voice more himself than this <laughs> thing is doing. Evil. <clears throat> he ends up telling her that he's going to kill people that she knows that are very close to her. And also that she's going to be the last one at the end of the night. It cuts to the outside entrance of a sanitarium. We see this guy kind of walking in. Oh, well, I'm new here. I'm starting... Uh, Oh, well, I've also got some champagne, you yeah. know, to celebrate the night. He kind of works pretty quick on the nurse. They're in the room together. They got the champagne. They start making out, lay down on that doctor yeah. table. <laughs> the countdown to New Year's starts, right? Ten, yeah. nine, eight, seven. And you see him click the record on this portable tape recorder. And as soon as it hits zero, New Year's, he stabs her. He ends up phoning Diane after. Yeah. Listen to what I've done, right, with that shitty voice thing. Yeah. <laughs> she kind of doesn't believe him. Yeah. And he's recorded it, and he's, he plays it back for her, and it sounds pretty gruesome. Yeah. Scares the shit right out of her. It's a little strange because it's actually not New Year's where Diane is, yeah. right? And that's kind of the M.O. He's going to kill a person on a different hour leading up to New Year's in different time zones yeah. in the country. <laughs> it's all convoluted. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we also see the son back in the apartment building, distraught and everything, yeah. and he kind of takes these pills and he, like, puts on this pantyhose <laughs> and, <laughs> and all mashes his face all up. And he's kind of watching his mother on TV host the, this New Year's Eve special. And he, like, has this bouquet of roses that he's all tearing all up. <laughs> so obviously something is up his ass here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever been so pissed off where I decided to put some pantyhose on my face and tear up the roses. <laughs> That'd be pretty upset to do that, man. From here we see the killer. He's kind of changed his look a bit. He's got some disguise on. He's got some shitty fake mustache on. And he goes to like a disco. He starts talking to a couple of girls and he knows all these famous people. Oh, I'm going to Eric Estrada's place after for New Year's. I'm his financial advisor. You can come with me if you want to. Driving there with a shitty mustache on. 
killer dope I got here. And he opens up a bag of all this weed and she goes to go smell it. And he just, boop, yep. puts the bag over her head and kills her. Now the killer has changed his disguise again. He's <laughs> taken off the shitty mustache. And he's a priest. He's just like a priest. <laughs> Cruising, going to his next kill. All these bikers kind of surround him. and Yeah, they flip him off. Give him a hard time. He's not paying attention. kind of bumps into the, one of the bikers by accident. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you don't no, want to piss bikers. No, he's got these bikers <laughs> on his tail. And he goes into like a drive-in theater and ditches his car. Comes upon, of course, a, a couple. Right. Takes the guy, just pulls him out, <laughs> takes off with this other girl in the car. She ends up getting away and, and running away and hides under these bleachers. Yeah. Some cops come and he actually doesn't get the kill. Mm -hmm. He has to flee. But time's running out. New Year's Eve is happening in the next time zone. Right. He's got to make his kill, right? Yeah, he set the deadline for himself. So he comes to uh, uh, a hotel. And, hey, police officer! <laughs> I think there's a drunk over here. <laughs> yeah, well, it is New Year's yeah, yeah. Eve. Fucking streets are probably littered with him. Boom! Hits him in the fucking head with a big brick. We find out this is the hotel where Diane's hosting the big New Year's Eve gala. And shows Diane getting ready again. She's like in between takes. Behind her is this guy in some sick track suit. This cheap <laughs> track suit. And put this really creepy fucking mask on. Mm. She looks behind her and startled. The guy takes off the mask, and that's where we're going to end the plot line. If you want to find out what happens at the end of New Year's Evil, and if he gets his kill on the strike at midnight on New Year's Eve, yep. keep watching New Year's Evil. And what happens with that shitty son? One of the standout things with this movie for me was, like, the punk and new wave music that, yeah. that, that's kind of peppered throughout the whole movie as you see the live performances of all these bands on the New Year's Eve gala. Mm -hmm. It's so catchy and good and like also a really good job of like highlighting that whole post-punk new wave movement. And this is early, this is 1980, like movement's barely off the ground and it's like the focal point of the movie, which is pretty neat. Yeah, and it's neat too because we had just covered Eyes of a Stranger and that's done in 81 and the movie feels more to the 70s side, right? Yeah. This movie's done a year before, and it feels super 80s. Yeah. Which is interesting, because yeah. they focus more on the new wave stuff coming up, right? Yeah. So you feel it. Yeah. It's, it's ingrained in the movie. People who made this movie, like, knew that this is the next big thing. Mm -hmm. This is what's going to be big coming up. Let's highlight this. You know, let's yeah. not focus on the old. Let's focus on the new upcoming thing. Right, you know? and the young, right, yeah. the young crowd. And it has its own theme, yeah. which is punk style, yeah. right? Sort of heavy metal-ish kind of, which is neat, right? Again, it's always awesome yeah. when these horror movies have their own theme done. Yeah. yeah, It's not your typical slasher, right? The killer doesn't just appear, right? Out and of nowhere. Yeah, 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 exactly. And then kill and then disappear again into the shadows to reappear somewhere else. We follow the killer throughout the whole movie. Yeah. That's what the movie is basically about. Yeah. He's kind of like a real guy. Like he runs into all these sort of real world problems. Obstacles right? and stuff, <laughs> Yeah, right? exactly. And on top of the fact, he set a fucking deadline for himself too. Right. The clock's ticking. You know, he looks at his watch or yeah. whatever and he's like, he's got to solve this fucking problem. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I love that part of it. Cause <laughs> the comedy of the movie is kind of subtle and underlying but that's where it's derived from is these little obstacles that he comes up with yeah. like ironically dressed as a priest and then bumps <laughs> yeah. into the bikers and like fuck now he's got to get away from these bikers and everything and, i'm a man of peace yeah. and then he stabs that yeah. biker yeah. <laughs> And like he picks up those girls and he's all like, oh, shut yeah. up. He's just annoyed by these girls. like, Who wouldn't want to kill yeah, him, exactly. right? Yeah, exactly. Like, I love that part of it. Way before Behind the Mask, there was New Year's Evil kind of like looking behind the curtain of what the killer has to go through to, to get the job done, right? right? yeah. The voice changer thing in this movie, too, is kind of like the killer's hallmark, right? Yeah. Because he's phoning in and using that voice changer, but... It's kind of shitty. It's super <laughs> shitty. Like, it doesn't like, even do anything. Not really, and it actually makes him sound like more of an idiot. Yeah, it's than... like, <laughs> it, it kind of is a, my only complaint really about the movie is that voice changer thing. Right. Like, you sound like a moron. Yeah. <laughs> this is evil. Yeah. Like, he's, like, <laughs> he's 
he's all calling himself evil. evil yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like when you go to a party and you meet someone you don't know, someone new, and they say, well, call me evil. Yeah, yeah. It's Who like, the fuck are you? Fuck, <laughs> fuck off. You're an idiot. <laughs> what just happened to us in real life? <laughs> yeah. Another real cool thing about this movie, actually, is the killer's motive, which you will find out if you finish watching the movie, is, is really neat. And, and the killer is mentally unstable, of course. So it's right. like this little tiny thing, which is could be nothing to most people ends up being the tipping point for him. Around this time, like, you start to see, like, women, like, stronger female leads, right? Yeah. And this movie, which you'll see it towards the end, this movie flips that, where yeah. it shows that the, the man is pissed off about all this stuff. Because she's taking control yeah. of the relationship. <laughs> Basically, it's what happens when a very weak man gets involved with a successful, strong woman right. and how that can just make him crumble. The movie also has a real neat twist at the end. Yeah. Like a couple of twists, actually, but there's like one real last minute twist. The pacing in this movie, too, right? Um, you're never bored in this movie. And then the whole look of the movie, I really like that whole kind of like neon look, mm -hmm. that 80s neon new wave post-punk look is just great being a fan of new wave music and stuff it just like i just like, sunk right into this movie like, <laughs> oh yeah this is my thing this is my right. territory right here well and it highlights the 80s yeah. perfectly right because yeah. of course the 80s is very colorful all yeah. these neon yeah. lights and lights coming out of his mouth so if you're in the mood for like a again another slasher that takes a lot of tropes and kind of flips it around, mm -hmm. this got a bit of comedy, a lot of good punk rock and new wave music, yeah, and just a lot of fun, a lot of decent kills, yeah. Then check out New Year's Evil on New, new Year's, Year's Eve. Eve, and until next time, <laughs> and until 2021, where we kick off season five. Five already, holy shit! Keep drinking, you betcha, and. Oh,